Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, adding solar power to my last Arlo 4K Ultra 2 camera. I have three panels already in place. I have one of these on my shed. I have two of the Arlo official solar panels uh, on my back portion of my uh, roof on my gutter. And so I have one camera that I did not have a chance to get a solar panel on, which is the hardest camera to, to get to. It's over here in this corner here. And the reason that is because of these post-tension foundations, it's like four foot of a foundation piece over here. But on this side of the house, it's only, you know, half foot. So to get to the roof over here only takes, you know, a normal ladder. To get to where my camera mounted over here takes a lot more ladder. So. I have, as I mentioned before, one of these already in place on my shed. It seems like it's working great. It's about half the price of the Arlo. So I figured I'll go ahead and add one more of these. And just like my cameras and my solar panels, I'm going to be using one of these Wazerstein gutter mounts. These are pretty cool because they actually let you mount a solar panel or your camera directly to your gutter. And in doing so, you don't have to actually drill into your siding or anything crazy like that. Pretty simple. And really depends on your mounting surface is how you will mount these uh, gutter mounts. Now, you can have it mounted like this one for if you have a kind of a wider lip gutter or, you know, wood or whatever. Or if you have a narrow slit type one, you mount it like this. That's what the default is. But I'm going to have to actually switch this piece here to being over here. Pretty simple, remove the four screws, take the plate with this piece on it, you flip it around, and you screw it in on the other side, which will then enable you to have it on a top mount, which is what I'm gonna use for my solar panel, because of course I want the solar panel to be on the top facing the sun, and that will work out perfectly. I did notice on my other panels when I installed them, I could only use two of these screws because I wanted this um, lip here to actually overhang further forward. So you have room to actually screw in the set screws to actually mount this to the gutter. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these four screws, flip it around, mount two of them uh, on the top here, which is more than enough to hold the panels. They aren't very heavy. And then once I do that, I'm going to take this piece that's in this bag here. We'll actually screw in the back of the solar panel right here. Make sure you tighten it down nice, and then that will enable me to then attach this piece here to this piece here on the gutter mount. So, real quick, this will be the solar panel I'm using. It is a Shiuda, or however you say that. Seems like it's working fine. I believe it's four watt, and I have no, no issues so far on my shed camera. It's kept my battery at 100% pretty much uh, continuously, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this thing staged up. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and get on my rickety ladder, which is kind of on a hill, so it uh, makes it a little bit more exciting, and we'll get this thing mounted up. Here is the mount, and now that I have uh, flipped it, as you can see here, it'll clamp down onto the gutter, such as this. Right. You can see only two of the screws, and that's because the thumb screw here to attach the mount to the gutter uh, would interfere if the plate was fully uh, attached. Now, if you ask, you know, why don't you put thumb screws on this side and push them all the way through? Well, it just they don't work out that way. <laughs> that would be cool and optimal, but uh, just the way the gutter design is, these can only mount it, I found, coming through this side right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get up my ladder that's on a hill here. Hopefully I do not fall and we're gonna get this on the gutter and to show you real quick here is the piece that will actually be going into the back of the solar panel super easy you screw it on once it's tight make sure you do not punch it through the front of the solar panel then you will actually tighten up this uh, collar here which will lock it in place make sure you have it you know you can situate it how you want based on uh, the sun and the mounting solution you have, I believe I'm just gonna keep mine vertical like this, which will then attach evenly on here. And then I'll actually rotate this portion, which this clip rotates, and I'll aim the panel towards the sun. Let's 
can see I'm up on this wonderful ladder. Nice view. Um, as long as I don't fall to the ground or my wife's lovely dirty grill. But uh, here is the gutter guard and the gutter. See there? And it just, you know, you just fit it over the lip. Make sure you loosen everything down so we can slide over. All right, there we go. And really once you get it down over the lip, nice and flush like that, Hopefully you can see that. You just want to tighten down these set screws until it's nice and tight on the gutter. And then we'll go ahead and get the solar panel mounted on here. You just unscrew, thumb screw, and actually you want to rotate it around so the thumb screw is on the outward. And then we'll mount the solar panel right here, aim it towards the sun, and then we'll find a way to run the cable inside the gutter up here with some zip ties. Just make sure you are within distance to your camera. My camera is right here. Your cable is a set length. Do not exceed that, otherwise you won't be able to reach the camera. Solar panel is mounted up, as you can see here. And I rotated it to point at the sun, mostly. <laughs> and here's all the cable. It's a decent amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to thread it underneath um, this little brace here, toss it to the end over by the camera, put a zip tie on both sides, and then we'll just make sure it's not super tight and getting cut, but enough so it's not flopping around in the gutter. And we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the camera over here. Here is the solar power cable plugged in, and the height here is pretty crazy. Kinda hard to see, but panels over there, I had extra slack. Um, I could not get the zip tie on here. I just, so I just tucked it below the lower um, brace of the gutter on each end so it wouldn't fly off and then hooked it up. Make sure you do clean the connection here. Otherwise you might not recognize the panel. And then real quick, go ahead and restart your app. And then if you open up your app, Arlo app here, and you can go to your device settings. If you see that little, maybe we'll be able to see that or not, but if you see the little green sun icon, that means it recognizes your solar panel. And then if it says it's got a little charger icon, then it's charging from the sun. So overall, other than the location of this camera, the install is pretty simple. And here we are, solar panel here. Camera here, can't see the cable. It is in the, the gutter. Like I said, I couldn't get the right distance or angle because of the slope of my yard here. A ladder is real, uh, uh, not really safe. Um, you know, unless I got up on the roof and I just didn't feel like getting on top of the roof. So I just kind of uh, tucked underneath one of the gutter braces on each end and then looped it back around and it should be in place pretty good. To see here, here's my two other uh, solar panels, same brand. They've been up here for a few weeks, some big, big wind storms, a little bit of rain and stuff, been unaffected. I did get some overheating messages. Um, so if it's getting directly beamed the sun, if it's hot out and humid, the battery is a safety mechanism in the camera won't charge during those incidents. So earlier in the day, later, at, you know, later in the day when there's still sun, you're still getting a charge, but you're not overheating them, they'll charge. They've been at 100% pretty much continuously since I installed them, so I've had no problems. These are, I actually, now I talked about it, these are the Arlo's. The Shed has this camera, and this one's actually, I've, it's been better than the Arlo's. At least I feel like these, th this one has so far. Now, longevity is in question. I have no idea on that, and I'll report back. And another cool thing about these solar panels, it does come with a direct interface mount, so you can mount it into like a wall or a, you know, into a post or something like that. So that's why I added the gutter mounts, because I didn't want to drill into the house um, 
you know, any permanent marks. So that will wrap this one up. Uh, hopefully anybody who is running a, you know, camera setup such as this, the wireless camera, and you don't want to have to keep charging your batteries, you know, once a month, twice a month, these are a great option, you know, pretty much hands-free at this point, other than when you want to clean the lens if they get dirty. So we'll wrap it up. Feel free to like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, I'll see you around. Peace.